The Flat Earth Society is an organization that believes the Earth is not a sphere, but a flat disk. Despite the model being scientifically disproven, the Flat Earth Society still has members all around the globe. We spoke to people on both sides of the debate to learn more about this theory about how our world looks. What made me doubt the globe Earth model was that I had looked at just about every conspiracy I could think of. And so I said, OK, I'll shut this thing down in a weekend. And I looked at it from a court of law perspective. Well, everyone's going to lean on NASA because they're, the, they're the, the only real source. They're the only ones that have actually gone outside of this world and looked back and said it was a globe. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized that all those boxes of information that NASA had were basically just empty cardboard containers. It's all just been stagecraft. And if NASA's wrong and all the physics and engineering behind it are wrong, then the world isn't what we think it is. The agenda of flat earthers is very similar to other conspiracy theories. In fact, it is specifically conspiracy driven. It only differs in magnitude. It is the largest and, and most grandiose conspiracy imaginable, which would require every single government on earth to be in on it. Um, every single aerospace company, telecommunications company, uh, all literally all physicists, astronomers, geologists, etc., uh, which is part of what makes it so absurd is that practically half the global population would have to be in on the conspiracy, which makes it untenable. I think that it is really um, easy to dismiss um, flat earthers as being, you know, kind of out of touch or disconnected. Um, I think that that is a little bit of a problem. I think that that being skeptical is a valuable trait. Um, I think that questioning what you see around you is something that people should do. Um, I think that denialism is something different. Um, I think when you get from the point where, you know, a scientific process where we collect data, we look at evidence, and then come up with a conclusion based off of that, uh, to me, someone who's kind of more into a conspiracy theory is looking for, has already settled on a conclusion, and you know, looking for evidence and disregarding anything that doesn't lead directly to that conclusion. The biggest misconception of being a flat earther would probably be that we are as dumb as rocks. Flat earthers are so ignorant that they don't even realize how ignorant they are. That's probably the most common misconception. It's like, are you kidding me? I, I, some of my best friends, which are all flat earthers, are extremely articulate, extremely smart, extremely motivated and dedicated. It's the only thing we debunk to children. We don't talk to children about JFK or 9-11 or Pearl Harbor or the moon landing or any of that crap, but we'll, we'll put a globe in their classroom, put it in the corner of the room, they'll leave it there for 12 years. That's incredible conditioning right underneath the American flag. Thanks for watching. If you would like to view an extended version of this segment, please see our YouTube channel.